We are at the biggest consignment thrift furniture store that I know of in Tampa Bay. It's called Deja Vu Consignment Furniture. It's almost overwhelming how much stuff they have in there. So I'm going to take you along. I will admit I did just pick up <laughs> a like sofa table, entry table. It, could, it has a lot of different uses on Facebook Marketplace. So I will show you all that when we get home. But let's head into this place because it is super cool. So if you are local, let me know if you've been to this place and if you know the birds that they have here. So I tried to edit out all of the squawks. <laughs> they have a lot of parrots, but just wanted to warn you. So today's video is not just a thrift with me, but will also be a styling video of the item that I bring home, as well as an unboxing of a special surprise from my grandmother, the best kind of thrifting surprise. And I hope that you all will really enjoy it because I think this one is a really fun one. Oh my gosh, I love this table. It is like metal and it is heavy. There's no way I could lift this myself, um, but it's also expensive. That's a little more than I usually spend, but it's so cool. I want to know where it's from. I really don't like glass tables, but I do like this one. How it has this ironwork underneath it. It's really beautiful. <laughs> Baskets are nice because they're a big size, but they're both 10 and I usually like to spend around five dollars for baskets. I know, I'm cheap. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, they have signs on them that say I bite. <laughs> I don't think that this table was old or anything, but I really liked the details of this little scalloped edge. I've never seen that before, and I thought that would be maybe cool to add into in a DIY in the future. I definitely thought of Emily Faith when I saw this twin sleigh bed in this natural pine wood. It definitely had some detail work that was starting to fall off, but that could be repaired, of course. And I thought that this would just be really, really beautiful in a vintage style kids room. It would be quite a statement. I just bought some similar Windsor chairs on Marketplace that I plan to paint. Now mine are in better condition and these were about $580 I think there and I got mine for $100 so I love seeing that. <laughs> that always makes me happy. painted this black to give it like some contrast oh gosh she's been here forever <laughs> 2019 this is 15 dollars the shade is like it's big this is a big lamp if we had really tall ceilings these would be absolutely stunning i love these they're just simple they look timeless in my opinion um they are 179 that's that's a great price for lighting like this and i love these like chunky candles but they're actually like waxy stuff oh my gosh that is so cool yeah these are super super cool if i only had tall ceilings oh they do have lampshades too beautiful i love that i love that so much
It's actually cool in here. <laughs> Wedding prop. Jesus <laughs> turn thing. this is but it's kind of cool it kind of looks a little bit asian i would say it's not like ming furniture this that's how much it is but it's really beautiful solid wood and it's like a really nice height comes up to my hips no it's really beautiful I really like this chair. It's not in the greatest condition. These pieces are like falling apart. This is not like real leather, but I love that weave. That's really cool. It's only one of them though. Then have a lot of things here, like bathroom vanities, bathtubs. <laughs> There's a huge one in the front. Big like clawfoot tubs. Probably the biggest coffee table I have ever seen. Look at that. It's massive. It's like a stage. Is it so low to the ground? an interesting idea if you wanted to cover your books in paper so that they're not shown like if you really weren't going to read them when the ugly the covers were ugly but it's interesting it's like a court paper that they chose to just wrap them I love this dresser for the boys' room with the black handles, the lighter toned wood, and the drawers slide really easily. Oh, I really like it, but it is like 300 and something dollars, and I want to find one for like 100. Perfect. I'm gonna show Dominic. <laughs> it's cool, right? Okay, we just saw that it says made in Mexico. So that's cool. And it's really dirty, but we're giving it a good clean. This rubbed off. I wish we knew who inspected it. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the thing that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Then I've got a little thrift haul from my grandmother's home that she sent me some little treasures that she was willing to part with. So we might use those to style this entryway console table. I've been kind of messing around with it a little bit with what I have and I'm excited to see how many different ways we can make it look. What I really love about it is how simple and clean lines it has. This pine, um, she, she did stain it she said and it's a little bit orange for my taste but for now it works totally fine. I do plan eventually to either make it darker or lighter. So let me know what you guys would do. There's some spots that the stain didn't touch. The wood is fairly light, no veneer on this thing. And I'll put up some comps of ones that I found online that are kind of similar to this, specifically from Amber Interiors, which is like my obsession, you guys know. And so these are like over a thousand dollars that I found. And this one was $75, so. I think that was a win <laughs> for me. All right, let's open this package. Gideon is going to help me. Toddler in the house, they have to help. <laughs> okay, honey, thank you. Nicely with those. I love those. Um, you. Okay, so she also sent me a tripod because little Benjamin, mm -hmm tip mine over and it is now a bipod. So that is what this is. Ooh, a new tripod, guys. I am legit now, so no more propping you up on things. <laughs> so my grandmother has traveled the world as um, my bumpa was an admiral in the Navy. So they traveled a ton. Honey, put them down, please. Her and my grandfather bumpa lived in Spain for I think it was four years. And so they have a lot of Spanish things in their home. But she found out that we have a very Spanish style home. She thought of me for some items. So this one I think is super cool. All right, we'll put this up here. It's for candles. Hanging planter, I believe. She did show me some of these on FaceTime the other day. Oh, I love that. This is so cool. It's ceramic. And then it has like little designs into the handmade pottery and it's hanging. I've never seen one like this. This is super cool. Yeah, go ahead and take that one out. She knows I love brass, so she 
gave me a few of these little like brass things she said and she thought this would be cute for like a little plant it's really precious a little gift or something too and this is another pot with this glaze up here and then oh that one's not too fragile that's another brass one you can open that this, this would be great for plants like an indoor plant up on a shelf love that love that that's cool and then this little is it copper or brass i think this is copper with like little um hammered copper look that is really cool okay y'all know i love thrifting but thrifting from thrifting from my own grandmother's house that tops it that's awesome so let's go ahead and style these things i'm going to give you some ideas for how to style an entryway or a console table in your home i have all of this decor that i pulled out to pull from as I was editing these clips of myself haphazardly decorating this console table, I was reminded in a weird way of my word for the year, which is rhythm. I shared this back in January, and so many of you all shared your word as well, which was so beautiful. Funny enough, right after I chose my word, our entire family rhythm turned upside down. If you've been following along, we recently moved closer to my husband's job and away from friends and family, a beloved preschool, and my PT job. So now I've been a full-time stay-at-home mom since February. Just as this console table took a few different tries to get right, so has it been figuring out our new rhythm at home and in a new town. Justin Early writes in his book, The Habits of the Household, one of the most significant things about any household is what is considered to be normal. Moments aggravate and they become memories and tradition. Our routines become who we are and become the story and culture of our families. I definitely wouldn't say that we have got our new routine and rhythm down pat yet, but I don't see our days as sheer chaos anymore. Justin writes about how our habits form liturgies that shape our hearts and reveal to us what we love. That is why our daily routine is so important and should be chosen so intentionally. So whatever your word of the year resolution was, I want you to um, just encourage you all to revisit it. It's about halfway through the year now, and there is always time to begin anew. I don't mind the reflection or the smudges, but I really like how this mirror, I just wanted to emphasize how it kind of makes the eye draw up and uses this space, I think a little bit better than the picture frame does so i think that's what i'm leaning towards i spent a few more days arranging this table bit by bit just to my liking and i will likely be changing it up in a few weeks as i decide to tweak it a bit more but this is where we will end for today i will link the thrifting video where i first explained word of the year in the description below as well as the information on the book that i mentioned i am very much enjoying it right now i will probably reference more of it in upcoming videos i hope you all have a very blessed week and i will see you in the next one